Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Monday, Monday motivation. motivation. I'm your host, Daniel Krakowski, joined, as always, by... What would you like to be called today, Goran? Uh, Goran is fine. We got Goran. Yes. <laughs> Goran Vazovich. I, I think we tapped out all the different uh, names or monikers or whatever. That's true. Yes. Throughout the, the 12-month journey. I, I, this. I like to call you the Bosnian hero. The Bosnian hero? And... Hashtag Bosnian hero. And we are also joined today by Stas Manchik. What's Everyone. up, man? Uh, an old back. familiar guest. We, yeah, You all know him. You love him. Yeah. You were here doing the motivation before, or did you do a regular podcast? Motivation. Monday and motivation. a regular podcast. And did a vlog. And a vlog. He's yes. doing it all. He's, He's taking over. All. Showing he, up everywhere. He, he, hasn't, uh, he hasn't showed up to uh, get a crack at the ping pong. Uh, he hasn't even said about his ping pong skills. We, we talked about it a little bit earlier. We did. Are and they rusty? Rusty. rusty. Oh. We're going to have to, but maybe he's just sandbagging us because I, I know Stas to do everything extremely well. Really? So maybe it's just oh, like based it, on your standards too. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Speaking of ping pong, uh, uh, Daniel, you wanna you wanna just address the elephant? Yeah, gloves have been thrown. Uh, challenges have been issued. We're and, and thank God we have Brad Williams on our side. I'm, I'm gonna say that first of all. But it is going to be a VSM versus Caspian group challenge on ping pong. We're gonna be raising money for charity. Losers buying dinner. It's gonna be serious. It's gonna be well documented. It's it's going to be intense. Uh, I just want to, to absolutely break them. And I think they're, they want to do exactly the same. So Right. I, and I, I commend uh, Rafiq for uh, giving a little shout out and a jab on uh, Instagram, which kind of prompted this whole thing because we uh, take, t- take our ping ponging very seriously every single day. <laughs> we do. We put in about 10,000 steps, Fitbit steps. It's real estate, ping, ping pong. pong family no <laughs> no no no. real estate ping pong real estate <laughs> ping pong ping pong ping pong uh, yeah so uh, we we have it right in front of um the office as soon as you walk in that way it's always on everyone's mind and we hear the ping pong balls all the time so if you guys call and you hear that little tick, 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 it, we're p- probably going to be playing ping pong to get ready for, for the, the showdown the showdown with how are, how so how are we going to document this? Where can they find it? Is there a way? How, how can they donate? Because I know we're going to be playing for a cookie cart, right? Yeah, we're going to be our organization or nonprofit that we're going to be playing for is going to be cookie cart, cookie cart, cart dot org. And we, Dan, uh, Isaac and myself, we're going to be putting together a little promo video, maybe even a, like a Facebook event and or invite where people can actually come and watch this ridiculous thing happen. I think we're going to do it at Caspian. They have a little bit more room. And uh, we're going to be streaming it live on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Perfect. It's going to be kind of like a, you have to verify your age, 18 plus, because I'm sure it's going to be a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of Yeah, swear- we take it seriously. <laughs> a lot of swearing, <laughs> things getting tossed around, breaking, but it, it's going to be fun. And, uh, you know, again, For I, I, I don't foresee us losing, especially with, you know, heavy hitters that we have, plus us, you know the 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 ace himself Brad Williams yeah. he, he's probably just gonna just demolish everything himself so <laughs> only time I've ever been shut out in a game of ping pong against Brad Williams goose egg right wow. you know he's really good I don't know how but he shows up here flip-flops shorts you guys want to play I don't know. Did he even have a paddle? Or was he just using like a regular stick? That yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> it was a fan. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So, so enough uh, enough of ping pong. Stay yes. tuned. There's going to be plenty coming up with that. But, uh, you know, one thing that that can segue into perfectly is uh, it's really it's really easy to get caught up in the trap of, when, you know, when you're on your grind, when you're hustling all the time, just to lose touch with everything else, lose touch with the things that you enjoy in your life. Um, you know, it can cost you. Like, I, I had a realization that I hadn't seen my best friend in probably nine months. And I'm like, oh, I should probably call that guy and see how he's doing. So, you know, finding opportunities like this where you can, you know, put work together with something fun, something social, I think that's really, really important. Do you, do you, Stas, do you do anything that kind of you get to team build a little bit, uh, you know, meet some new people, network, but also, get to actually have some fun. Do you do anything kind of like that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it comes down to knowing yourself and knowing what you need, right? Like mm-hmm. you can't, I've done months and months and months of just 
work, 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 and getting burned out. You get frustrated. Yeah. Starts Stuff starts taking longer than it should. So you just have to Ooh. figure out what you want and how your body and your mental state works and find escape to go to just so you can clear your mind, reset, and then go at it and have tasks take a lot shorter. Right. Than they would if you're burnt out and tired and just exhausted completely from doing everything daily. Yeah, no question. I think we had a, a, a realization to bringing the ping pong table into the office, which is always a dicey proposition because, you know, you, you worry about sacrificing productivity. But what we found is that everyone on the operations team, they're able to get all of their work done. And only then do they allow themselves to, to play ping pong and actually have some fun. But... I mean, I definitely don't feel slighted at all. Like there's not work happening. <laughs> Do you? No, and I, I, again, I think um, a lot of people just think that you can't have fun while working, and that's not what we're all about at VSM. Uh, we just actually were about to wrap up our Wii tournament. Ryan and I still have to play. At which point we're going to enter the final round with a showdown <laughs> with Dario from KPS. So Ryan, if you're listening. We still got to uh, sort out our game. Uh, so we got that going on. But also on the other end of the office, we have the ping pong. And, uh, you know, productivity is actually, in my opinion, increase because you have these outlets uh, that, you know. And at bonding, any, right? At, yeah, at bonding. Any point in time, you're like, hey, I feel overwhelmed. You can take a walk or you can play a video game playing ping pong and you know talk it over with somebody so i think it's a productivity tool not a uh productivity sucker deterrent yeah yeah deterrent yeah. yes it's sure. just nice to get together de-stress talk about what's going on while you're actually enjoying what I, you're doing at the time and just as I've had I work with a couple of organizations that kind of had that, um, you know, like Best Buy um, at their corporate office. They had this whole room or this area where it had everything. But there weren't a lot of people there because everybody was so inundated with what was happening. They just didn't have the time or they just lost the drive to do it. So it was just there for show. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think the managers or anybody at that level was encouraging everybody. So that's something that I try to do is really just encourage people like, hey, have you played ping ping pong do you want to play ping pong or do you want to play me against something so just yeah not having it there and people being afraid to use it but actually um encourage everybody to like hey just go unplug for a second yeah so of course we'll look at facebook look at google look at all their headquarters and how they have all these they're like mini amusement parks inside right just to have people go into stress and whether you're you meditate or play something or sit around and drink coffee and relax and it really i can see it with myself to raise its productivity when you're actually figuring yeah. out something to do and everyone needs to go to their boss today and say we need a ping pong table <laughs> we need a no. wii system yeah no, i don't, but, I don't but, think try you can buy those anymore <laughs> yeah or just Probably come over not. to vsm and then it's all here provided and you don't have to ask anyone true true right and it's an open forum we have people stop by to play us in ping pong who have no affiliation with our company at all right if you yeah if you just are if you're pong. brave enough yeah. you can come in and, and request a game we'll be more than happy to you know uh we can do some wagers if you would like you know monetary or you know food related pizza <laughs> or donuts <laughs> yeah so you know there, there's also though you know say you work at a or you're self-employed or you're at a company and and that's just not realistic that someone's gonna you know institute some program where you can blow off some steam you know not everybody wants to put a ping pong table in their workspace etc yep. but a lot of it then is about finding ways to to kind of manufacture that experience for yourself mm -hmm. and i think real estate agents are generally pretty good at it uh using them as an example where business meetings a lot of times are done over lunch Yep. Lunch is a much better, you know, it's just generally better than sitting in an office um, trying to connect that way. This creates an easier environment. Totally. For people to not be nervous. It's people familiar. To relax, people to... But I think one better, I mean, I want to close the deal over a game of ping pong now. That's my new goal. I, that's for... what I was going to say. I'm telling you, man, the... Food is great, but you're like eating and you're you're not in your peak or excited state. Meanwhile, you're playing ping pong or Wii and you're just you're in that moment. And, and yeah, that's when great things happen. You can have a conversation and have fun at the same time. Right. And I mean, 
you know, the QT event that we went to. How fun was it trap shooting with those guys? Oh, and, man, that was that was excellent. It's, yeah. It was one of the best events that we've been to all of 2017. But I think, you know, if, if you can... That's why people go and play golf, right? That, like yep. so many business deals are done on the golf course. It's like, mm-hmm. hey, we can have fun together, right? And and just kind of talk and and you know commit yourself to a long term conversation. Because who wants to sit for four hours in someone's office and talk business? Probably no, no one. Nobody. But if you're playing golf, it's not so bad. It's kind of everybody's enjoying it. So the challenge is, you know, whatever you're doing, try and find a way to incorporate some fun into whatever you're doing in business. You know. Uh, I was meeting with a lender and he was like, hey, do you want to meet at my office or do you want me to buy you a cup of coffee? I'm like, let's go to a gun range. Right. (laughs) He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, that's where you can sell me. Let's go. Right. Uh, And it kind of freaked him out and I don't think he did. He wanted to do it. Um, Or go climbing. Right. I invite people rock climbing all the time. (laughs) No, I I think it's important. Let's say you can go uh, golfing or gun range or let's say your a lot of your time is spent in the office. Again, you can still utilize a lot of tools that are available to make things more enjoyable. Um, I know that we have um, a green screen in the back that uh, a couple of people use here for what they call Tourist Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's actually shout pretty, out Allison. Shout out Allison and uh, Lori. And Lori. Uh, which is really interesting because they use a green screen and it's really just for that tourist tour Tuesday purpose where they have an app on their phone and they would appear anywhere in the world and people would they would post it on social media and then would ask people like, oh where do you think we are today but it's something that they do every Tuesday just like we do on Monday motivation so things like that along again with you know pizza and donut days and all this it really contributes to the culture and I think um, greatly contributes to the productivity of everybody. Absolutely. When people are happy, it's proven fact. Productivity levels are skyrocketed. Right. Can't have people, you know, be in fear, be not appreciated. Plus, I I just don't think it's feasible for any one person to be at something at a at hundred percent for very many hours. Unless you're Gorn. Uh, well, kind of. It depends. No, we, you should see Goran about yeah, five thirty. He's got a Celsius in his hand. It's Dario's on. not here. He's like peeking his head in my office, like holding two ping pong paddles. Like, yeah, it get it gets really intense. Like I said, um, I have my Fitbit on uh, most of the time during the week, and I get my entire 10,000 steps in one day just by playing a couple hours of ping pong. It's pretty ridiculous. Even though Daniel doesn't believe in the step count, but whatever. Yes, but what, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, leave that we'll save that for another yeah. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, I think, you know, if I can sum it up and, and we can sign off on, on this then, it's, you know, we've had plenty of podcasts where we've yeah. talked about, you know, you're responsible ultimately for your own success, for your own accomplishments in life. At the end of the day, you're also responsible for your own enjoyment. And if you're really focused on the success component, it's difficult sometimes to remember that there is also some enjoyment in life and, and to, you know, actually take that time and, and build that into what you're doing. But, Absolutely. you know, the, the ideal is if you can combine the, the two together and, and just enjoy every minute of what you're doing. So instead of focusing on just 10xing your business this week, I want everyone to focus on 10xing their enjoyment. Call some friends you haven't seen in a while. Um, make some connections. You'll be surprised. Go to the gun way range. That, go yeah. climbing. You'll be surprised go. the way that it will help your business. Right. So I've issued my challenge. Uh, please leave us feedback on if, if you had any positive result. Thanks Thank for you, being man. here, Stas, and we'll see you Thanks guys next week. Me.